Hi guys, I hope you've had a good day so far. If you're not familiar with what this is, I think I mentioned it in the last video. Basically, during the coronavirus, we're going to be spending a lot of time in self-quarantine. This was just sort of a breakdown of my day, what I'm doing to stay productive, what you do differently, basically comment what you've done. We can all try and motivate each other to all stay productive during these, frankly, weird times. Um, and if you see me looking over here at all, I'm just, I've got a script on my screen, so I just keep looking at that to prompt myself. So um, I start the day off bright and early. I had an interview with a 800 billion pound plus market cap company. So I was very excited for that. Um, so I, again, I woke up early. I did a lot of research again before that happened and then conducted the interview. It's my first time having an interview like that. It was face, or it's face to face, but over the internet. And it was, again, a real person, not an AI robot. And again, it was all very new to me, but I think it went well. Hopefully built some connections, hopefully got somewhere at the very least. But yeah, it was a good start to the day. Following that, I um, got in contact with some people on the board at the university. We have a real estate social club, and basically the nominations for committee roles came up for that, and I was the only person at the university to stand for it. So that meant, unfortunately, they're planning on closing it down, whereas I've been trying to email them basically to keep it open. If they give me more time, I'll create a board, so fingers crossed something can happen with that. And um, we can get somewhere and we can really build a committee. And again, you'll hopefully hear about it a lot more in future vlogs. Um, following that, I phoned up a few companies, a few developers, basically asking sort of, again, what they're looking for in graduates. Some of them hadn't listed their emails online. So I was phoning them when I did it yesterday. It was sort of too late to send to phone them because I presume they wouldn't be in the office. So again, I got through some people and hopefully I've made some headway on knowing where I should head in the future. And then again, I spent some time on LinkedIn. I couldn't recommend doing wider reading enough, really. It's absolutely fabulous. Great for lateral thinking. I haven't done enough today, but that's because I've focused a bit more on my project. I've had one deadline reopen. So I spent some time in the afternoon basically going through that, seeing where I can improve. And I've scheduled in, again, I've scheduled that into my diary. I've then spent some time learning code. As again, I believe this will really help me in the future, so it's, I want to key, get it down, nailed that I've done some of that, some of that. And then I spent some time making economics notes. Again, a lot of lectures, a lot of free time at the moment, just going through and doing those. But um, one of my housemates is leaving today, he's finished his project, so he's going home. So I spent some time with him, we did a quick home workout, um, designed by Athene X. I'll put the link in the description, again, it was a fabulous workout. I know it um, got the better of me, that's for sure, I was really uh, feeling the burn. I'm going to feel it again tomorrow morning, probably. But yeah, it was really good. So I said I'll put the link down, down below. And then after that, I came back up. Again, that's when I did the work on the projects that I mentioned that opened back up. And um, yeah, we've had some marks come back. So I was basically digesting my feedback for that, looking again where I can improve. And then I had a phone call come out of the blue. It was from a developer that I'd applied to a while ago few weeks ago and basically they got back to me saying that unfortunately I couldn't do any work with them because of the conflict of interest between the estate agent I work for and themselves as they use each other so it'd be a bit of a conflict of interest but they were really impressed with my CV and they'd like to set up a meeting between me and one of the directors of their complete land management team so I'm really excited about that I can't wait for that to happen again that has be post coronavirus but again it's something to look forward to in the future um, other than that, yeah, I've just, now I'm just sort of winding down. I'm aiming to make notes on five of my planning lectures. And yeah, I'm just taking that s slow again, as I said. Again, using my favourite um, flashcard app, that is. And I'm just using this as a bit of a break, actually, a bit of like a refresh, but keeping things fresh. Following that, I'm just going to finish off by making some more economics notes again tonight. And then probably going downstairs. It turns out last night we downloaded... Um, one of the new Call of Duties, and that was some great fun. There's a new Gulag mode, which is uh, really interesting, or not interesting, it's great fun, it's really competitive, it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario. But yeah, that's been my day. Let me know what you've done, if you've been more productive than me, if I've helped you at all, or if you just think this is a massive waste of time. Any constructive criticism will be more than helpful. Thank you very much for your time, have a wonderful rest of your day.